Hey guys, here are two interview the KSZ Lego Lake Star Wars Elite Praetorian Guard Biddable Figure. So, this is the box itself right here. So, this set is recommended for just 8 to 14, and this is set Cree 2 Cree 2, and it comes with 92 pieces, and you do have a very nice box art right here. And you have the Space Wars. And yeah, down here it shows you the Buildable Figure logo, and this is the top of the box. It shows you the actual size of the head, and this is the side. This is the other side. This is the bottom. And finally, this is the back. It shows you the features of the Buildable Figure. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. Surprisingly, the instructions, um, they don't show any logo, uh, any KSZ logo or the logo for the theme, which is a little bit weird. But the first page does look pretty good. And you have the first page of the build. Uh, and yeah, it's nice that it's a booklet. And this is the final page of the build. And the back, it shows you the parts list. And yeah, it's uh, pretty much identical to the original LEGO instructions. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So these are the extra pieces right here. So you have this red axle and you have this connector. You have this axle and connector piece and you also have this stud connector piece. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So this is the figure itself right here, so let's start with the legs. So the legs right here, they are covered by this uh, textile skirt, which the quality of it isn't that good, but it's uh, considered pretty good uh, for Lego bootleg quality. And I'm pretty sure you can get better quality if you buy the original Lego set. But if you move it aside, you can see the knee here, you have a uh, armor plating piece, which yeah, is in red, and the leg piece is also in red, and the one on top here is in black, which is a little bit weird, but yeah, that's not really that big of a deal, so yeah. So the figure has a printed chest plate piece, which is really cool, so yeah, you have some detailing on there with the black linings, and yeah, they do look pretty good. And it extends down to the bottom, which uh, here, until here, which yeah does look uh, pretty good, and it looks kind of like a stormtrooper. So for the side, you have this very nice looking uh, shoulder pad piece, which yeah it looks really nice. And down here, you have this printed piece, which is on both sides, so that's definitely great. And yeah, it looks really nice. And this is how it looks like. From the other side so the head piece here does look really good um, yeah it's very accurate to the original mold of the uh, buildable figure so yeah that's great and you can turn the head around if you want to so yeah that's definitely great so the figure is holding a double bladed staff which yeah does look really nice and yeah at the end the blades they are uh, also a new mold and yeah it it's very accurate to the original mold and you have uh, this red lightsaber uh, piece right here which is really nice uh, added detailing and yeah it's the same on both sides and you can separate the weapon if you want to so you just separate by pulling these two parts and yeah if you see a Technic axle that means you're successful so yeah you can kind of do it like this and you can put this up here kind of do it like this if you want to and yeah also the legs here the joints on the legs they are very weak they cause the figures to fall off occasionally so yeah it sucks a lot and i wish that they could have made their ball joints a little bit uh, more stronger that would have been better but yeah that's that and this is how the figure looks like from the back uh, you have this level right here which is to activate the plate feature which I will show you that later. You have uh, two of these kind of plate pieces to fill in the gaps and you have this right here to stop the skirt from falling off. 
So yeah, that's just that. So how you activate this is by just uh, moving the lever from left to right and it will look like the figure is uh, kind of stabbing someone or punching someone if you have the right pose. So yeah, it's very fun to play around with and yeah, it works really well. So that's definitely great and it's uh, really fun to play around with and it definitely works really well. So yeah. But um, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the Elite Praetorian Guard Buildable figure. So, overall version of this figure here, so how do I give in? Well, I definitely think the molding for this figure here, they, it's all really nice. Um, you know, they are all very accurate and they all look really nice. So yeah, I don't have any problems with the molding and I also really like the uh, play feature, you know, it works really well and I don't have any problems with that as well. And yeah, the hip piece, it does look pretty good. This weapon uh, right here, it looks really nice as well. And I like uh, the two printed pieces or three of them. But yeah, the two types of printed pieces in this set, they look really nice as well. The only problem with this figure is the weak ball joints. Um, they cause the figure to fall off and that's very annoying. So yeah, I wish that they could have made it uh, stronger but yeah it falls off very easily and i wish that they could fix that problem and yeah i think this would be great but yeah the figure is really hard to pose nicely ks zack is the only lego bullet company to make the last jedi uh, buildable figures so yeah if you want to get a bootleg version of this set the only option is the ks zack or else you have to get the original version so yeah, there's really no choice. You just have to pick be between the Lego Bullet or the Show Lego set. So, yeah, if you have the money and if you want it, you should just get the original Lego version since it's better and yeah, the ball joints they are stronger and yeah, the quality is just better. So, um, if you can't afford the original set, then yeah, you should definitely get this. So, buy me for this set here if I can find it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.